Well, hello, and welcome to Tong Garden Centre in Bradford. That's right, it's a garden centre vlog. Just walking inside, it's like fairly extensive. This is a big garden centre and very airy as well. What a monster water feature, that's, that's kind of nice. Yeah, I like that one. What about a little Buddha fella? <laughs> That'd be good. Thoughts? Oh, an otter. An otter, we'll have that. I'll be honest, if we got that one, it just meant we want to wee. Also, it looks a bit phallic shaped, doesn't it? That one's kind of nice. It's like got a light in it. It's got a gentle ripple of water coming down the front. And it's a good price too. Look at that. Abstract rectangles. <laughs> Shall we get it? Is that now? That's heavy. <laughs> of course it's heavy. Yeah. Full of water. Oh. Oh, that's a baby one. What? A baby one. Check these tables out, right? The tables, but it's got a fire in the middle. Oh, they're comfy too. Comfy. I like the fire. The fire's good. You know you're getting to that age when you're looking at an outside garden set and you're like, this is yeah, nice. We've always really wanted a really nice outdoor area and we've got the potential to have a really nice outdoor area. I like the big umbrella too. Yeah, I do too. Nice. When did we become those people that walk around the garden centre on a Sunday and we're like, yeah, that's a bargain, that's a good idea, we're having a wild time. We really are. I like these. What are they? Solar lanterns. And when you said that, the sun came out too. Ah, oh, there's children talking, it's so annoying. I like that clock as well. Oh, the clock's good. Now I like a barbecue as much as the next man. Lauren, go and stand next to this one for scale. This one's a, a fairly sizable um, barbecue, but it's not as big as this. Look at the size of that. That is huge. You could cook an entire <laughs> Lauren on that. 1,439 pounds, 99 pence, and it's huge. For those six days a year where it's decent enough to go outside and cook a barbecue. I'm not even a fan of pizzas, but I sort of want a pizza oven just to say that I've got a pizza oven. Shall we get a pizza oven? I really want a pizza oven. I think mm. really good. While we're talking about barbecues and stuff like that, look at these ones. They've got little swing arms that you can pull it and they spin around so you can cook your food on there, spin it around, and then it's not over the hotness. Oh, sh okay. I've killed pizza oven. Oh, that is so nice. Yeah, but again, oh. these chairs are all well and good. These swinging sort of, what they're called chairs. These chairs, egg anyway. Chairs. Egg chairs. They're all well and good, but we live in England. When are you going to sit outside in this? I'd wrap up in a blanket if I had one of these. Move, I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. It's really comfortable. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, I've got a lovely little swing. We can have this in the front room. <laughs> Never mind yeah, outside. If we had that in the front room, it would not be us sitting in it. It'd be the cat. I could sleep in this. Yeah, exactly. Oh, just pick me up when you're done looking around. <laughs> so when it comes to plants, we're not the best at keeping them alive, <laughs> right? These are fake. We can keep these alive. These are easy to keep alive because they're not alive. We should get fake plants. We should get a fake garden. We need AstroTurf, is what we need. Hank, hank. Oh, not as squishy as I thought. Okay, so that's pretty much all of inside covered. We're gonna go outside now. We're gonna look at some actual plantage. Shall I tell you something that I've noticed in this garden center? <laughs> I mean, it's a straight up fact. 
Okay, we come outside now. Well, I say outside. <laughs> it's still under a roof. <coughs> oh, look, a palm tree. Let's get a palm tree. names plants like everyone's used to the names of plants but who names them because it's kind of weird when you think about it dahlia huh. erisimum see i'd go for something simpler like orange ones purple ones red ones that makes sense too close for my own good mate look Lauren's doing pot. Plant pot. <laughs> I wonder. Hang on. It fits. Oh God. Take it off. Deep in the jungle where nobody goes, there's a Lauren washing <laughs> her clothes. How much they are? How much are they? With that small one, there's £550. Ah, oh, 500 Get a smaller one. A smaller one. Oh, that's nice. Is it real? Yeah, it's real. It's like Jurassic Park, this. Rah! Okay, so it says that these plants here are called perennials. I always thought perennial was the bit between your testicles and... No? That's not that. What's that? <laughs> I don't say taint. Garden centre banter. <laughs> okay, moving on from taints to pets. That's exciting. Back inside we go. Hang on, they're not even real. It's just a, it's just a pot, a pot pet. Hey, Rocko, Churchill dog, stone cold bitch. Okay, where's the real animals? Look at that fat cat! Chubby cat. Ooh, fish. I should just film this for like hours. I always like these ones. Which ones? Lauren Ooh. likes the... Uh, the teeny tiny fish. Yeah. Come back. I like him. What is it about garden centres and fish? Why can you always buy fish at garden centres? Look at them all. Hey! You're like Wish Nemo's. I'll tell you what, the cats would love this vlog. So many fishes. Yeah, fishy, fishy. Who's doing it? Yum yum yum. Oh. Do the thing. Yum 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 yum. It's dancing. This is now officially a fish vlog. Officially. You see what I did there? Okay, so where do you buy the chips to go with them? Okay, they've got bigger tanks of fish here. Lauren, yeah. just put your finger in. I'm not putting my finger They'll in. They'll nibble the end of it. It'll feel no, nice. It will not. In fact, I know what. I'm joking, don't worry. Okay, back to plants and stuff now. There's lots of different types of plant here, but none have took my fancy quite as much. There's this one. <laughs> this one's a good plant, I'll take that. <sighs> it's got boobs. Look at that. <laughs> Aaron, touch them. <laughs> touch, touch the boobs. Touch the boob. I'm not. They're quite the nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Did that please you? Yeah, it did. See, these plants say colour year after year, 
Now the plants that we've got are colours year after year. They usually start off green and colourful, then the next year they're sort of yellowish brown. No. And then they're brown and all dead. So really. They're only ours are only flowers that you plant for that year. Really? Oh. What a rip off. If you want a feature for your garden. <laughs> oh my good god. It's like a, a life size that is huge. elephant and a little baby elephant. An Ellaling. A lingophant. Look at him there. With a spiky head. So I imagine birds can't crap on him. That's pretty awesome. And another look. Can't shift for elephants in this gaff. And another. Okay, back inside we go. This time to indoor plants. Yeah, because we're massive on gardening at Shea Gill. <laughs> Where's the AstroTurf section? Where's the <laughs> napalm section? Because I can't see that. We've found orchids, orchids, orchids. We've got one at home and it's dead AF. It is dead. But Lauren's found a handy pamphlet here saying making the most of your orchids. So, you know, hopefully she's going to get some handy hints and tips as to how to make it not be dead. I'm supposed to mist it. Mist it? I honestly think ours is beyond misting. <laughs> ours has gone brown. <laughs> yeah, ours is basically a stick. A dead stick. But hey, we tried. Oh my god, it's like Lauren just said. Orchid mist. But this one's got a Y. I don't know if that makes it special. Mist. This reminds me of those cress heads that you used to grow at school. You remember that? That was that was good times. This one's like an advanced one, like it's evolved. And now it's time to round things off by looking at some pretty gardeny lights. We need some new fence lights, not that I'd buy them. We need some what? Fence light. We need new fence, love. That is true. We're going to make our very first and probably only purchase of this garden centre visit a solar powered light for outside the front door because outside our front door is fairly dark. £20. Solar panelled, solar powered, motion sensor. They're coming on with me. I'll be honest, we walked into the lights section. I said we were going to round the vlog off by, by looking at the lights. And then I realised, uh, not only did we end up buying them, but I also realised that lights really aren't that interesting. <laughs> They're just lights. I mean, if you like lights, crack on. I'll tell you what we'll do instead. We're going to go for a cup of tea and maybe some cake, if there's some cake. That seems like a good thing to do if you're at a garden centre, right? She's left me. This place is fancy. It really is. Like, it's a cafe at a garden centre, but it's got a name. That's how you know it's fancy. It's called the Mezzanine. You only want a cup of tea. Although you do have other, more alcoholic options. You can get a gin. Let's get pissed up and go and run around the garden centre. That's a good idea, Josh. So I decided against a cup of tea, I went for a Coke. Coca-Cola, not sponsored, unfortunately. <laughs> Lauren's got a hot chocolate. A luxury. A luxury hot chocolate. We are now officially those people that come for a drink at a garden centre. Anyway, if you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not ready. With that being said, hang on. Will it all fit? Yes, we're gonna get going, so we'll see you guys. Next time. She's over there, out of shot. That's good.